All right, welcome back to another part 107 test review practice video. In this video, we're going to be talking about tax again. We're going to be looking at that same KMEM from the previous problem. So if you haven't checked that out, check that first one out. I dive a bit more into the tax than I will in this one. But once again, we're going to be doing two practice problems. So let's go ahead and get started. Referring to figure 15, we're saying between 1000 Zulu and 1200 Zulu, the visibility at KMEM is forecast to be, then we have three options. We could take a look at, remember in the last video, we broke down this TAF report line by line, and we discussed what each of the conditions for the ranges that were mentioned. So like if you had done this for this TAF report, then what we could do is identify what periods each of the conditions is for. So typically the first line of the TAF is the conditions that will start at the beginning of the interval. So from 1800 to, let's say the next line is an update to our TAF. So from 1800 to 2200, we're going to be having these conditions and then within that we have some sort of breakdown between 2000 and 2200 where we might have thunderstorms and rain there's a 40 percent chance of that so if we're looking for between 1000 zulu and 1200 zulu this is not the line that we want to be looking at okay and also think to yourself uh, the range of our taf report is on the 12th from 1800 to the 13th at 2400 and i got that based on this section of the taf report so are we looking for uh between 1000 zulu and 1200 zulu on the 12th or the 13th and how did you know it was that date the correct answer here is that we're looking at the 13th the reason why is because 1000 zulu and 1200 zulu is before the start of the taf so just something to keep in mind as well sometimes you might be asked for the conditions in a range that exists both on the first day and the second day of the TAF, so make sure you're really nailing down which date you should be looking at. Okay, so for the first line, that's not what we're looking for is 1000 to 1200, so that is not the correct uh, range. Next, we are looking, looks like it's from 2200, so 11 p.m., and then we have 0200 in the second line, so it's saying it's changing at 0200. So this second line is from 2200 to 0200, and then it looks like there's some rain showers, a 40% chance of that for that same range. Okay, looking on to line number three, we see from 0200, um, and let's see, it looks like from 0200 to about 1000, and then we have within that, we have 40% chance of some rain and snow, and then we have we have the wind conditions change and the cloud conditions change. So still not quite the range we want to look for. This next line, however, looks like it's from 1000 to 1200 Zulu. That is awesome. That is exactly what we want. So what was the question actually even asking and saying what would the visibility between those times be? Okay, so we follow this fourth line down. So it's beginning the 13th from 1000 Zulu to 1200 Zulu. It looks like it's calm and our visibility is three statute miles. So the correct answer here would be three statute miles. If you hadn't done this breakdown of a uh, what each line is another way to have solved this problem is you can highlight all the sections that give you a time update so this would be our first it's technically not a time update it's telling you the interval of the times but this can be helpful and then continuing down it looks like we have the wind visibility haze cloud coverage some probability here it says from 2000 to 2200 we're going to be having some sort of rain changes and then from 2200 we're gonna be having some more stuff here's another time change time change time change time change time change time change another time change it's good to highlight these uh, because then you can really easily find this 1000 to 1200 zulu uh, range right so that would be right here and then the next thing that you have to do is you just have to keep going down that that line until you reach the visibility so here it's saying from the 13th at 1000 zulu to 1200 zulu we have three statute miles of visibility a is not correct it looks like from 1200 to 1400 on the 12th is at one half statute miles of visibility, but that is not the range we're supposed to be looking at and then six statute miles we have that 
here and here it's actually greater than six statute miles but that is also the incorrect interval so this is from 2200 to 0200 is greater than six statute miles and here it's from 1600 to the end of the tax which is 2400 on the 13th and this would be from the 12th to the 13th here so that is also incorrect. So the correct answer here is three statute miles. While I always recommend that you skim over the entire TAF and uh, maybe you don't have to write it down, but you should at least understand what's going on and what's being updated in each line of the TAF. But um, this second way to figure out the visibility can be kind of an easier way. If, I don't know, maybe you're short on time where you're highlighting all these all the time changes. You look at the visibility after you find the interval you're looking for. And in this case, that is that three statute miles. Moving on to the next problem, we have this problem that says in the TAF for KMEM, what does SHRA stand for? And we have three options. So first, let's go ahead and find where SHRA is. So to me, that looks like it's some sort of weather condition. Here we have TSRA, not quite what we're looking for. Then awesome, right here we have SHRA. Like I mentioned, I think this is weather conditions. How was I able to know that? The wind conditions end with this KT, visibility ends with an SM. Anything that has to do with clouds normally has a number following it where that is the ceiling. Uh, this has to do with probability. This is a time, uh, so on and so forth. Yeah, this is a weather condition. And just like you should remember what most of these are. A lot of them are pretty simple to understand where you, they got them from. So like, for example, we have FG is fog, right? You can see they just removed the O in fog and that's what the weather condition is. So if we're looking at SHRA, RA is rain and then SH is showers. So if we take a look at this in its entirety, it's saying that there's a 40% chance from 2200 to 0200 of three statute miles of visibility and rain showers. So the correct answer here is a rain showers b is incorrect it's not a shift in wind direction if there was a shift in wind direction there would be some sort of indicator that at this time and then there would be an update to to the wind direction so like for example it says the wind direction changes from 200 degrees true north to 330 degrees true north starting at 2200 so that is incorrect the shift would just be the change in the direction in degrees c is also incorrect so if there was a significant change in precipitation you might use one of these qualifiers so like for example if originally you had light rain you would denote it like that and then let's say that there's a from or becoming or tempo and then it's got a plus sign in front of it that would sort of signify that there's a significant change in precipitation or like if there wasn't any rain at all and then it became heavy rain that would also mean a significant change but since we don't have that since we're looking for what shra stands for that is rain showers hopefully this helps you with these TAF problems if you have any questions comments concerns feel free to leave them in the comments and i'll get back to you and i hope you have a great rest of your day